Hello. Yo, welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy Rocky, man. And this is Everything Rocky G, man. Yo, if you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe. And if you've been here, throw it again. You know how you rock, man. Or I'm just trying to try different things out on this channel. If y'all rock on it, leave a like, man. So today, I'm going to be reacting to 30 Lamborghinis versus 10,000 people by Mr. Beast. You know, I ain't see this one. I, I wanted to make it genuine. I wanted to make this reaction genuine, so I'd rather watch a video I didn't watch before I watch my own. First up, we've got shapes and video masks. You can use different shapes to create completely different vibes in this. If I give you the choice to either buy 30 Lamborghinis or help save the lives of 10,000 people in one year, which would you choose? Shit, I only need three seconds. <laughs> All I need is one. Nah, I, 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 I ain't that cruel. But honestly, I don't want to answer for that. I keep that one to myself. But if you know me, then you already know what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> if you know me, you know me. Three, two, one. We decided to do this. Cue the epic highlight reel of the year. <laughs> We started this mission in Kailicha, South Africa, where we found an orphanage that was in desperate need of our help. My bad. I don't want to keep pausing the video, but I want to say I want to go to Africa. I don't know if I'm going to do it this year. Maybe like, well, the year almost over, but I don't know if I'm going to do it 2024, maybe 2025. But if this thing take off, the first thing I'm going to do is Africa. I'll make a promise. I'm going I'm to vlog it for y'all. So make sure y'all make me, uh, make me lit, man. So we could go to Africa together, man. Help because it was at risk of being closed down. They started back then. I saved more than 5,330 children. Those children would be dead. But we keep on opening the doors, knowing that maybe someone will come to our rescue. Like this philanthropy. So we spent the next six months working tirelessly by rebuilding 12 new homes with an ongoing supply of fresh food as well as a brand new playground. While the orphanage was being built, we began our next project where we gave away 20,000 pairs of shoes to kids in Africa. This I ain't gonna lie, man. He the goat for real, man. And I can't wait to make it to that point where I could do stuff like that. Because that is something I do plan on doing. Eventually. Yeah, but let's go. What you have done here at my school is absolutely amazing. Darren then flew to the Hopi Reservation in Arizona, where he met with Wendy. There are over 10,000 members of the Hopi tribe. These people don't have very much, but they're some of the most generous people you'll ever meet. The Hopi tribe is situated hundreds of miles away from the closest quality clothing and food stores, which is bad because the winters here get freezing cold and they need all the help they can get to stay warm and put food on the table. When we realize just how... Dang, man. That's crazy. Yo, when you watch stuff like this, it just, like, it make you aware, like, how grateful we are to have everything we have here in America. You know, other countries don't really have that. You know, difficult it was for them to get access to these basic necessities. We decided to donate over two point seven million dollars of clothing. It was amazing. Our, our kids, our people, are just so happy. Thank you, Mr. B. 
If you want to prepare for the gas shortages in the winter and save big on energy bills, then you need to hear this. That's fine. This new space heater warms any you, room in less than right back to you. We then found out that there is an abnormally high number of amputees throughout Cambodia. So we partnered with Exceed Worldwide to give away 2,000 prosthetic limbs. Yeah, no. What we've experienced is that it's so much more than a limb. We're giving back people their independence. But most important, I realize that we're giving them back their dignity and their self-esteem. <laughs> Darren and Dan then flew to a remote island in Colombia where they capsized a boat and fell in a river filled with crocodiles while they were I bad again. But that's another spot I want to visit. Maybe that one I'll probably do 2024. Maybe. There, they built a solar grid which gave the island electricity and Wi Fi for the first time, which will give the kids on the island the ability to access education online. Right. We also built a bakery to empower the woman in this community, which from day one was a hit. We then traveled to Kenya, where fresh drinking water is extremely scarce. I am a father of six children, and I want to be the best father of all. That's why I work so hard to maintain my bread. I pass away with a small gears. One of the medals is not there. The bricks are not 100% working. Sometimes I think if I could take a motorbike engine and put my passport, my life would be easier. So with the help of electric e-bikes, we were able to provide Mr. Barasa and 1,000 other people with free electric bicycles. We have made work easier. It's so easy to ride. My bad, y'all, yeah, but my body saw from yesterday. I went to the gym. Every time I lift my arm, son, this shit hurt. <laughs> so anytime y'all see me doing this, making faces, it's not the video, it's my body. So, oh yo, if y'all missed that, go watch that that video. I dropped a couple, couple clips from the um the gym video, so check that out. Darren and Dan then traveled to the Cure Children's Hospital in the Philippines, where we were able to provide 160 kids with life-changing surgeries. This little girl has just got her cast off and she's learning to walk for the first time ever with her straight legs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The magnitude of you No, know, I have kids, so watching this is like dang. You know, but you got somebody to help you, that's fire. You know. Cause sometimes, you know, he doing more than the you know, the government. I, you know, I don't wanna say stuff like that and you know you get cancelled, but you doing more than the government do, man. Of the surgeries that these kids are getting from Cure for Free will change their lives. And the fact that Beast Philanthropy can come in here and help Cure provide care to some of these kids is something that's going to affect me and stay with me for the rest of my life. The construction of the orphanage in South Africa was now complete, and it was time to surprise Mama Rosie and the kids. No! <laughs> Nah, that's fire, son. Like, that's fire. Like, that's like dreams coming true. Like, it's fire. Mama Rosie also told us about a boy named Yamkala who left the orphanage 14 years ago with the dreams of becoming a musician. However, he was struggling to make money and practice his craft, working full time at the airport. It kills me knowing that I'm doing something that I'm not into, and there is something that I want to do that I really love, but I cannot. Yeah, no, nah, I heard what he said though. Though they say he was hot, like nah, they they say hustling, but my words, you know what I'm saying? This is my channel, so he was hustling, bro. He working hard at work and hustle. Hustle don't always mean bad, like selling drugs and stuff like that. Hustle, you know what I'm saying? You getting it, bro? By any means, and not drugs, but that's blood, sweat, and tears. You know, you're not sitting there waiting for a dollar, waiting for a dream to come true. You know, you could dream big, but if you're not working for that dream, then you ain't going to never get there, sadly. Not do it. So we decided to surprise Yemkala with a brand new top of the range acoustic guitar, as well as award him a full scholarship to the to best one. music school in the country. Yeah, play. See you in a year. But shout out my uncle, yeah. The I team then flew to Thailand, a country with over 2 million stray in the same <laughs> to meet with Michael and help him rescue as many dogs as possible. Where we helped thousands of dogs run for the very first time. 
<laughs> My bad, y'all. But not only people, he helping dogs, bro. This guy is selfless. I love that, man. I love that. I love that. <laughs> As well as give Michael a brand new rescue van, state of the art gas machine, and a brand new ambulance. Really happy. <laughs> Darren then received this video from a TikToker named Dora Muno. Peace philanthropy. Please, please help me save our village. Our kids need you. So Darren immediately flew to Dora's sanctuary in Zambia, which had absolutely no electricity. And nah, well, one minute though. Who can I call? Who can I email? I need to email somebody about some stuff too. You know what I'm saying? Is located in a dangerous area with high rates of domestic violence. It became evident that the lack of electricity was holding them back and severely curtailing Dora's ability to help develop this village to what its potential could be. Having to wake up thinking, what will these kids eat? That is still very difficult to do each and every day. So we came up with a plan to use the direct sunlight and scorching heat to our advantage by installing a massive solar grid that will provide electricity to the entire village. It was then time to turn on the lights and the kids couldn't contain their excitement. Mateo, turn on the lights! Nah, that's fire, bro. <laughs> Yeah, Belize with my best mates, a I'm trip that we had been out. talking about for years, but the price tag prevented us from making it happen. Order. Luckily, right. Expedia had our back. We then found out about a college kid in Philadelphia that is rescuing thousands of pounds of food every month because of his school meal swipes. I originally started just as a student with leftover meal swipes in my dining account, and I realized as I was getting close to the end of the term, I have 50 meals left that I know I'm not going to be able to use, and I just had a pit in my stomach thinking about all of those meals going to waste. So Darren flew there to meet him and help expand his operation to a national scale. After witnessing everything that Evan had done to help this community, it didn't take but an hour to know that we had committed to partnering with Sharing Access to help them achieve their goal of feeding as many people as possible. And with our help, Sharing Access were able to open an operation at Hunts Point Produce Market, the largest produce market in the world in New York City. And that operation is going to be three times larger than the one that we have in Philly. Next, Darren and Dan travel to the heart of Cameroon, where thousands of children at this school have to share a single toilet and have lessons in these derelict and dilapidated classrooms. Guys, y'all watch this, man. Be grateful for what you have, man. It's, you know, people who don't have it, you see how they live Dreams. These conditions had no dignity. These conditions do not make a child believe that the future is bright. Once we saw this, we knew we had to do something. So almost immediately, we started drawing up plans to begin construction. And a few months later, the brand new classrooms were built, just in time to surprise the kids before they returned from their holidays. <laughs> Lastly, we flew to Nepal for a secret project that will be revealed next year. But on that mission, Dan and Darren went to... You see, like, he's showing y'all. Uh, it probably went over your head. He, doing, he said project we're working on next year. You see what he's doing? In a couple, by next couple months, I don't know how long it's going to take him. Because I don't know. I don't speak to him. But you see, a couple months, he's about to drop that video. So you better stay tuned to 21,000 feet high to Mount Everest to sign out this video where the altitude made Dan very loopy. Darren and I are at the highest point we've ever been together. It's been one hell of a year. You know, we've been working together just one year. And look where we are on top of the world, literally and figuratively. And I wouldn't yeah. share this experience with anybody else, man. Send this to any billionaires you know and tell them to stop buying cars and instead help people. Yeah, that's a fact. It's been such an incredible year. And we help so many people around the world. That's a fact, because I've been watching all his videos and I could, um...
That's fire. That's fire. But um, all right. But I'm a um, I'm a I'm a I'm a cut this hair. You know, I don't want to put too much on one video. Uh, I don't want to drag it out. You know, but um, thanks for stopping by. Oh, I ain't even hit my dance this one. Hold on. But yo, lock in with me, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy Rocky, and I'm out, y'all. Yeah.